analog signal is switched off. It will happen at uh, Carnarvon, the site of the square kilometre array. The first set-top boxes were distributed in the area. The SKA, the world's largest radio telescope, is very sensitive and requires the least possible radio frequency interference. A sparsely populated wide open space and minimal radio interference. Ideal conditions for construction of the SKA. Until a few years ago, residents had very little access to radio and television stations. A new world has opened up for them. The picture quality is better because we used the antenna before and now we are using it. There's much, much less snow. All residents across income groups received set-top boxes. Government is currently distributing them freely to 5 million poor South Africans. The rollout is expected to be concluded next year. The TVs work and we feel satisfied with everything. Before we got the dishes, we couldn't get the channels. Now we are watching TV and we know what is happening in our country, so I'm very happy. The set-top boxes decode analog signals to digital, bringing crisp pictures to viewers and opening up bandwidth for more channels. They also decrease radio interference. The highly sensitive SKA dishes can pick up signals from billions of light years away. The SKA matters to, to the average South African uh, because it hugely enhances our science system. And our science system bootstraps the whole education system and the understanding by South Africans of science, of the universe, of the world. And, and you know, the engineering and scientific capabilities that the SKA leverages are used in other parts of the economy, in other parts of the education system. The switch-off in the Carnarvon area is on Friday. South Africa will initially run dual illumination, meaning those with outset of boxes will still be able to receive a signal. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Carnarvon, Northern Cape.